The latest leak from Edward Snowden suggests it was Britain's cyber spy base, GCHQ, that showed America's NSA how to monitor Facebook and Twitter without content. consent. And that's as Europe marks Data Protection Day, which is supposed to show EU citizens how to keep their online data away from prying eyes. RT's Polly Boyko looks now at how effective that's likely to be. Happy Data Protection Day. You might not know it, but January 28th marks the day when governments try to raise awareness about how to protect yourself online. The European Commission has even made this video warning that what we reveal on the net could strip us of our privacy. And yet over the past eight months, revelations by Edward Snowden have exposed mass global surveillance conducted by the USA's National Security Agency, and often in conjunction with its European partners. It makes them look a bit stupid if they don't actually tackle the larger problem. If they're saying data protection is important, oh, and by the way, we're not going to stop people spying on you, I mean, it's just absurd. According to the Snowden leaks, the NSA's PRISM program collects data directly from the servers of US companies like Google, Microsoft, Yahoo and Apple. Now try to think of an individual, a household or a business that's not a customer. What's more, spy agencies in Britain, Germany, France and Spain are taking all the data that they hoover up domestically and passing it on to the NSA for processing. As the story unraveled, it's been revealed that emails, text messages, phone calls and internet activity of citizens across the globe have been hoovered up. A year ago, most people have agreed that the European Union's data protection rules were the best in the world and the most rigorous. And the spy agencies of the NSA and GCHQ in the UK have basically just been ignoring all those rules and just taking everything they want. After it was revealed that the NSA had intercepted Angela Merkel's phone calls, it became clear that not even the German Chancellor is immune. Obviously our data is not very protected, otherwise those uh, scandals would not have occurred, whether it was Germany, whether it was uh, in Brussels, uh, in the Netherlands, in France. According to Edward Snowden's latest leak, the National Security Agency isn't just gathering intelligence for national security purposes, but indulging in industrial espionage as well. He cited Germany's engineering firm Siemens as one target, and still no admission from the top. I can give assurances to the publics in Europe and around the world that we're not going around snooping at people's emails or listening to their phone calls. So on the eve of Data Protection Day, we asked some Europeans if they felt like celebrating. Do you know anyone who is uh, happy about it, uh, that uh, his private sphere uh, is uh, controlled by governments or NSA? Does anyone like that? I think it's dangerous and they should protect us. This development goes on and on and on and where does it stop? Nobody knows. We shouldn't be celebrating the one day. It should be something normal to have our, our information secure. Polly Boyko, RT, London. The European Court of Human Rights has demanded the UK justify GCHQ's mass spying activities. The latest reports show a joint US-British surveillance program was involved in industrial espionage. And former British MEP Glyn Ford believes that could have cost Europeans thousands of jobs. I guess Europe's just being naive or stupid. I mean, when the Americans have been tapping Angela Merkel's phone, have been tapping the phones of hundreds of millions of people across the European Union, why would we expect them to leave business alone? It's probably costing Europe, Europe tens of thousands of jobs. Every time Amer American companies win contracts that European companies were expecting to win, we must be suspicious now. That's not because they actually had a, a better deal on the table. They knew what their deal was and undercut it. And even video games can't be trusted anymore. Log on to rt.com to find out how, pre how playing Angry Birds or any other popular app on your phone could be handing your personal data directly into the hands of the NSA.